Heavy fire involvement over an extended period of time will often lead to the risk of structural collapse. Understanding building construction and the inherent weak points based on the type and age of the building is critical in safe fire ground operations. At a fire in January 21, officers noted signs of the structural integrity of the building deteriorating. They communicated this development to the incident commander, who then issued operational instructions. All companies in Alpha, we also have Buckling and Alpha. Maintain your distance from the collapse zone. All companies on scene, I want everybody outside our apparatus there in the center of the street. We want 30 foot collapse zone all the way around this thing. One and a half times the height, okay? A collapse zone is defined as the area around the perimeter of a structure that could contain debris if the building collapsed. This area is often defined by establishing a perimeter at a distance from the building that is equal to one and a half times the height of the structure. Creating this safety zone allows firefighters to continue their work but be protected in the case of a collapse. All companies on scene, we got buckling on the front half of the building here. I need you guys to pull back. Uh, parcel, wall collapse, Charlie side, everybody safe and accounted for. Okay, roger that, just uh, maintain safe collapse area, collapse zones. It takes both knowledge and experience and the ability to put those together to read a fire. Without that skill set, firefighter lives may be lost.